5 Ways You Can Become The Guy She's Always Wanted, But Never Found Among his many dreams, a lover of women has one that stands out, to become her dream. Which, her. All of them. Especially her. This dream isn't hard to imagine. She can't concentrate on her work project because she's thinking about cooking dinner with you tonight. As she selects food for the meal, she smiles, recalling how she first met you in a grocery aisle, seeing your smile for the first time. When she approaches your apartment door, she feels so excited that she skips and drops the eggs. While picking up the mess, she hears laughter and looks up to see your smile. In that moment, she forgets everything else. There's no embarrassment, no broken eggs, just you and her. A dream fulfilled. Sadly, many men don't dream like women do. They scoff at books like Fifty Shades of Grey or other novels that capture the imagination of millions of women, dismissing them as silly, unrealistic, and fantastical. But that's precisely the point. Her fantasies are where she wants to live. The only reason she's not living them is because you haven't become that man, yet. Achieving this dream doesn't require looks, money, intelligence, social status, or professional success. You only need to give her what she wants, when she wants it. Is it really that simple? Yes. And I'll show you how because she deserves it. Here are the five ways to give her what she wants and become the boyfriend of her dreams. 1. Have sex as soon as she's ready. As you take a sip of your iced macchiato, you glance at her and get lost in her presence, and now you're staring. O-S-H asterisk T. But it's okay. She's staring too. And it's not even awkward. Besides these brutally honest moments of infatuation, the conversation flows effortlessly. Then, after one particularly long silence, i.e. starefest, she asks, where do you live? You tell her you live in the city, just a few minutes away. Then you ask what inspired her to pursue a career in physical therapy. The conversation reignites, and the flow continues. After a few minutes, she asks another random question. Do you have roommates? No. You live in a studio, you say. Before you can continue, she tells you she doesn't have plans for the rest of the night and doesn't have work until late the next day. If you're not picking up on these cues, you're missing what we call escalation windows. Women drop these conversational hints when they want you to move things forward. And they usually mean one thing, I want to be alone with you. Why else would she ask about your roommate situation? She wants privacy. She's not asking where you live so she can stalk you or send you anthrax in the mail. She's interested in going to your apartment, or at least considering it. Yes, this can all happen on the first date. Some men assume that to be respectful to a woman, you shouldn't get intimate with her too quickly, lest you risk offending her or implying you only want to hook up. This is a noble intention, but it's slightly mistaken. The hours, days, or weeks it takes to be intimate with a woman is irrelevant. Respect isn't measured by time, but by comfort and desire. If she wants you now, it means she wants you now. Ironically, it's when you miss these signs or reject them that you actually disrespect her. Think about it. She makes it blatantly obvious she wants to be alone with you, and then you ignore the hint because you're not focused enough on her to notice. Not as attentive as you thought you were, huh? Or maybe you dismiss the hint because you don't want to give her the wrong impression. Well, pay better attention. And there's no rule that says you can't hook up first and then have a serious relationship after. In fact, many of the most passionate and exciting relationships start off exactly like this. And if she is just looking to hook up, then you're not doing anyone any favors by putting it off. Sex is a fantastic way to honor an intense connection, be it for one night or for the rest of your lives. First date, second date, or months into seeing her, don't make her wait. Give her what she wants when she wants it and begin the most passionate relationship of your lives with a fiery bang. 2. Be unpredictable in how often you see her. You like her. A lot. And she likes you too. But she's a bit unpredictable. 
Sometimes she's available, and other times she's too busy, but she promises she'll see you soon. When you finally meet up, you're excited. It feels like it's been forever, even though it was just last week. Let's be honest. You're crazy about her. You enjoy the chase and love the mystery. Well, you need to understand that women crave mystery even more than you do. They want a man who cares for them and spends time with them but is also unpredictable. When a couple or soon-to-be couple sees each other too often and too routinely, the relationship becomes predictable. One of them usually catches on, while the other is too caught up in the romance to notice how cookie-cutter it's all becoming. And if you're the one who's blind to this, you'll end up boring her. Don't let that happen. Keep the romance exciting, new, and a bit unpredictable. Let her live her dream. Now, I'm not suggesting you flake or ghost on her just to appear busy or not seem too interested. Women are smart and will see through that charade. Instead, have things going on besides her. So when you do see her, you can share all the amazing things happening in your life. 3. Stay in together as much as possible. Whoa, shouldn't you be taking her on grand adventures, fancy dinners, and outings with friends and co-workers? Nope. Contrary to most dating advice, you should spend as much time in as possible with your girl, at least for the first few months. Avoid going out to bars or clubs together, meeting her friends, or introducing her to yours, at least, not yet. If the relationship lasts long enough, that time will come. But why wait, you ask? Because the relationship is about the two of you, not anyone else. Friends, co-workers, family, and random people on social media all put pressure on you both, especially her, as soon as you become an official couple. Friends and acquaintances will bug her, asking how serious you two are, and inquire about all sorts of details, despite it being none of their business. If she shares these details, people will react based on their own beliefs and might even criticize your relationship. Just look at any celebrity couple. People who don't even know either partner personally will spend hours thinking, talking, and writing about someone else's relationship. Most people will bring nothing but jealousy and criticism to your relationship. That negativity can quickly turn into gossip, rumors, and complications. Until you two have formed a connection so strong that outside influences have little to no effect on you, avoid making your relationship public. 4. Be the romantic rock in her life. Most men fall into one of two categories, the doting, supplicating, nice guy, or the jerk. Both types ultimately fail to provide the dream relationship women desire. The nice guy offers romance but lacks emotional stability. He is neither strong nor independent and constantly seeks validation from her. Eventually, his neediness and hovering become annoying. Equals support each other but do not need each other. The jerk has the opposite problem. He excites and challenges her and appears independent, but he lacks the compassion and love she needs. He fears vulnerability, so when she opens up to him, he shuts down, making her feel foolish for sharing her feelings. This prevents the relationship from reaching its full potential. A genuinely strong man who truly loves women provides both excitement and stability. He cares for his girl, makes her feel safe and loved, but isn't plagued by a fear of losing her. He is self-sufficient. When there's drama, he remains calm and focuses on making her happy because he is already content. When she feels vulnerable due to insecurities or life challenges, he opens up, revealing his own insecurities, as if to say, yes, I am broken too. But it's okay. I'm happy. And when she needs to cry and feel loved, he holds her close and says exactly what she needs to hear, nothing. He cares without clinging. He is her romantic rock. 5. Let her be your relationship co-pilot. Don't ever try to control a woman. You will always fail. Yet, many men start relationships by doing just that. They push for commitment, wanting her to promise exclusivity. Sorry, buddy, this isn't love, and don't try to disguise it as such. Wanting to keep her for yourself stems from possessiveness, not love. 
And women know it. They often tell me how men pressure them into commitments, always with a hint of disappointment or even disgust. They don't like the possessiveness, but they tolerate it because they do like the guy. So, sure, why not be his girlfriend? But ask yourself, do you want a woman to be with you out of a, why not? Or do you want her to leap into your arms, saying she can't think of anyone but you and wants to be your girl? Exactly. And she wants that too. If the sex is incredible, you treat each other like royalty, and you follow the tips in this article, you won't have to push for the relationship. She'll let you know when she's ready. The only question you need to worry about now is, are you ready to become her dream man? If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.